what is going on guys today we are in Nagasaki and because we are in Nagasaki I thought I would take a little trip down memory lane and share with you all the story of how I got my two tickets and since the locations are pretty close I'll show you exactly exactly where and why I got the tickets looking back it was pretty dumb I, sh I knew I know what I did wrong but it still stings a little bit <laughs> so both my tickets actually when I got them they were on the scooter so I had my scooter license maybe six months total and I got two tickets in the US I've driven for nine year, around nine or so years and I only got one ticket so it's kind of a wake-up call here the second ticket I blame completely on the scooter but the first ticket was completely my fault. So, let's set the scene. For my first ticket I got, it cost me 6,000 yen, around $60. And I got it because I failed to stop completely at a train crossing. And <laughs> I, guess, I guess a lot of people don't stop there because those cops were just waiting at the end. And they were ready to pounce so I go here and then what you're supposed to do is supposed to go here and stop look both ways and then go and then right there there's two cops waiting for me <laughs> what's this guy doing <laughs> there's two cops just standing there waiting for me or waiting for anyone I guess to make a traffic violation pulled me over I I tried to do the I don't really speak Japanese thing, but they really don't care and they'll give you a ticket anyways. So they gave me a ticket for 6,000 yen for failure to go to a complete stop. And uh, after a while, okay, the thing with the about the cops here is it's they're really like they're fast about giving you the tickets. Like they don't make you wait around, ask you all these other questions that don't really pertain to. To the traffic ticket so you're in and out and it kind of makes you want to say thank you at the end but <laughs> you know at the end of the day you're still you're still out you're still in the hole and uh you got to pay that so go down to the uh there's a post office in there pay the ticket and get on with my day still can't believe i got it try to go as slow as possible home and everything so that was my first ticket is this guy gonna pull out does he see me no, they don't see me. So about three months after that, I get another ticket. And I'll drive up to that place in a bit. But the thing about this next ticket is, I got it for a speeding instead. And if you don't know anything about the laws, the laws about uh, the speed limits of scooters here, scooters can only go 30 kilometers an hour. So... I don't want to be tutting along all day, you know. I want to get to my destination, get there fast. <clears throat> but the cops were thinking something else that day. Yeah, so my next ticket I got up around here. This is the main street in Nagasaki. And uh, there's always going to be congestion here. And I should have known there's always going to be probably a cop going out here somewhere. Waiting. So I got my next one up here near uh, near Heiwa Cohen, and Heiwa means peace. So this park is right next to Heiwa Cohen's right up here. Actually, it's right next to the epicenter of the atomic bomb. And I got my ticket actually. <laughs> like the place I got my ticket, if you looked up, then that's where the atomic bomb exploded, guys. So I was going 30. And, I mean, I was going 60, but you can only go 30. And I guess they had people waiting up here. And then uh, at the end of this road, there's a police, a police box, and they had a van out there. So you, they told you to park in front of it. Um, actually, two, <laughs> I was riding, and two people, two cops, go out and they do this: stop, 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 which is, I think, it's ridiculous. It's kind of uh, dangerous in its own right. But if you can see right here is, uh, here's the park with the atomic bomb memorial it's a little stone statue that goes straight up and if you look straight up that's where it exploded guys right here it's kind of crazy to actually have lived in this city and to be around all of it 
it just puts you in a whole completely different mindset. This used to be runes, all of this, right? So right here, I was tutting along, going 60. Um, if I was in any other vehicle, I would not have got a ticket at all. Um, but obviously, that's... <laughs> look at that guy with the... I hate those people, dude. It's so annoying. So, hey, actually, let's turn. Can we turn right here? Yeah, so this is where I got it, this Koban right here. Koban means police box, and they had a van set up, and I went in there, and 15-ish minutes, I was I was out, and it cost me $120, guys. If you can see that little memorial right there, that's where the atomic bomb, bomb exploded, guys. Right there. Hopefully you can see it on the GoPro. It's right between these trees right here. And every year they have a uh, an event honoring, you know, everyone who died during the explosion and it completely wiped out Nagasaki but it's amazing to be here right now and just see all these you know it's thriving actually uh, there's about 500,000 people that live here and it's just crazy to think that once there was all this was just leveled so I got my two tickets I got six points and if you get six points you're supposed to go well you can either take a course at the uh like a little driving center or not drive for a month i asked the cops what to do and they said just if i get something in the mail then then uh i have to go but i really don't check my mail for one i just don't even <laughs> this is a love hotel <laughs> i need to do a separate video about love hotels i I don't know, I love them, they're funny. Okay, but anyways, I got something in the mail like three months later, I didn't even know, and so apparently I was riding on a license that I shouldn't have been driving on, right? That's the story of how I got my two tickets on the scooter. If you're riding a scooter, one, be aware, you know, there's train tracks everywhere in the US. I don't I don't even know if we have to stop completely, just yield, look both ways or, or something. Um, but really there's not that many crossings anyways so be aware of that guys and on a scooter don't go 60 near Hewa Cohen it's, it's, it's really impossible to go 30 I think but if you can more power to you we're really close to Peace Park so I kind of want to show you guys the statue if I can figure out how to get there so I've lived here for two years and this road, these group of roads always confuse the hell out of me. Okay, I know where we are now. Oh, this might take forever. Huh. Let's go this way. Let's go this way. Let's go this way. All right. On track. Well, I found it, but one of the roads is only one way. Ooh, here it is, guys. I found it. It took me a little longer than I was expecting, but look at that. This is a uh, this is Hewa Cohen, and that's the that's the peace statue. But every year too, they do a uh, they set up a tent and have beautiful flowers and ceremonies going on all all through this pretty huge park. I wish I could ride my bike in front of it and take a picture, but I don't know. Is that disrespectful, guys? I don't know. And I don't want to test it either, right? I hope you guys enjoyed my little story and sneak peek of Hewa Cohen. And like always, if you have any questions or comments, please let me know. Take care, guys.